CompTIA ITF plus Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 6.7 Explain Business Continuity Concepts. Data Redundancy. Have you ever made a copy of an important document just in case something happens to the original? In IT, this concept is referred to as data redundancy. Data redundancy simply means having a backup or duplicate of your data to ensure its availability. In the realm of IT, this concept of data redundancy is achieved through a process known as data replication. Data replication is the process of copying data from one location to another, ensuring that both locations maintain the same up-to-date information. By creating copies of your data using replication, we ensure that if one system or storage medium fails, the data remains accessible on another. Now, let's explore a method designed specifically for this purpose, called RAID. RAID, or Redundant Array of Independent Disks, is a technology used to combine multiple hard drives into a single unit to improve data reliability, performance, or both. With business continuity in mind, RAID storage solutions provide us with varying levels of fault tolerance. And each of these RAID solutions, also referenced as RAID levels, will have its own unique approach to redundancy and performance. RAID 0, for instance, prioritizes speed and speed alone. In this setup, data is striped across two or more disks, where striped refers to the method of dividing up and distributing data across multiple hard drives. Or to state this another way, each block of data is sequentially written to each disk in the array. RAID 0, however, does not offer redundancy. Worse, if one disk fails, all data is compromised. If you are following along with the image behind me, each blue cylindrical column represents a hard drive. Each letter, A through E, represents a block of data. And the numbers, 1 through 5, are used to represent the sequential order in which the divided parts of a block of data are written to the drive array. Our next RAID level, RAID 1, operates like a mirror. Data is duplicated or mirrored across two disks, ensuring that if one fails, the other retains all the data. While this type of RAID configuration offers redundancy, it doesn't enhance performance in the way RAID 0 does. Then there is RAID 5, which strikes a balance between RAID 0 and RAID 1. It employs striping, just like RAID 0, but introduces an element called parity. Parity provides a means to reconstruct data if a single disk in the array fails. This RAID level offers a bit of both, performance and redundancy. Lastly, RAID 10, often referred to as RAID 1 plus 0, merges the mirroring capabilities of RAID 1 with the striping technique of RAID 0. This combination allows RAID 10 to deliver both fast performance and data redundancy. In conclusion, grasping the concept of data redundancy and the techniques to implement it, like RAID, is essential. It provides a foundational approach to ensuring both reliability and enhanced performance for those handling digital data. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.